Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new. I hope you're all having an amazing day so far. I have the best Dollar Tree haul for you guys today. I'm so excited and I know I say that pretty much with every Dollar Tree haul that I do on my channel, but I'm especially excited about this haul because I found so many amazing finds and hidden gems in this haul and I can't wait to share it with you guys and I hope you're just as excited as I am. So here we go, let's get started. In the candle section, I found some new decorative candles. Now these are reminding me of a bee theme for some reason. I don't know if it's like the, the hexagons that are going on here and it's kind of hard to see with the glare from the packaging but I just thought these were gorgeous to put out with my bee decor that I usually do in the summertime. So I went ahead and picked up three because I have a um, little candle set or candle stand set that I like to put these kinds of candles on. So I just thought these were really cute for that whole bee theme. And I think these are scented. It's scented, but I'm not picking up what the scent is on that. So it's very mild, maybe like a vanilla scent for that one. And then these ones, these laser cut candles. Now we saw some like kind of like this for Christmas, but these ones have a diamond shape to them. Really beautiful. I'm definitely going to put these out for Valentine's Day because they're just stunning. I don't know if that's any better. But these ones have a vanilla and cinnamon scent. You can definitely smell the cinnamon on this one. Cinnamon is not one of my favorite scents because it does tend to give me a headache. But just for decorative purposes, I think these are great if you don't light them. I usually don't light decorative candles like this at all. They just kind of look pretty. So picked up those. And when I was wearing my mask in the store, I walked by the, I guess, cleaning products aisle. And even through my mask, just casually walking by, I could smell these dryer sheets. And you guys, these, I don't know if these are new to Dollar Tree or not, but pick these up, you guys. They smell so good. I know some people are sensitive to um, switching up like their laundry soap and, um, fabric softener sheets, but oh my gosh, you guys, the smell on these are so amazing. For, I don't know which one I like better either. I mean, they're both equally as good. So I bought French lavender. You get 40 sheets in here. So I was thinking of using these for maybe like when I wash my sheets and my blankets to have like that like luxury resort smell. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but oh my gosh. They smell so good. I don't think I'm going to wash my everyday clothes with these just because um, it the smell is very strong, but it is so good. So good. Something about this is definitely reminding me of like a luxury scent. It doesn't smell cheap at all. It smells so good. So then I also got Sweet Pea Blossom. And the company, I'm not sure what the company is it doesn't really have a, a company name on it that I can find. It just says distributed by Bay Converting out of Green Bay, Wisconsin. But if you guys see these, pick these up, especially if you want to like um, have your sheets and your blankets smell really good. So picked up those. I also got some Fabuloso, the antibacterial, um, just to clean my floors with. Picked up that. And then this was a new product by SureSense. It's a berry air freshener room mist. So it's non-aerosol, which is nice. And it smelled like berries. So I went ahead and picked this up. Smells good. Very light scent. Not as strong as like an aerosol spray. But I thought the bottle was really cute too. There was other scents as well. I just picked up the berry one because it was my favorite. This next item was something that I was actually getting ready to purchase on Amazon or something very similar. So when I found it in Dollar Tree, I was really excited. It's this soap dispenser with a pump. I found these in the bath section by all of the loofahs and like body soap and things like that. But you guys, this is awesome. There's two different sizes. I got the largest size that I saw, which was 750 milliliters. I picked up three of them because my daughter's soap and shampoo doesn't come with a pump. She's taking her own showers now um, and she does 
unfortunately waste a lot of soap and shampoo because she doesn't, I guess, proportion it outright. Um, so I figured putting her soap and shampoo um, in a pump style dispenser would help her with that. I can just tell her like one or two pumps. So this is amazing. If you have a shampoo or conditioner or something like a favorite one that you like to use, but it doesn't come with a pump style, you can pick these up and just pour it into um, these little dispensers. And they're also really just, I guess, clean and minimalistic. You could maybe put some labels on here, some waterproof labels as well to make, like dress it up a little bit and make it, I guess, more fancy. But score, you guys, I was really excited about these dispensers. Also in the bath section or soap area of Dollar Tree, I found Tom's Prebiotic Hand Soap in three different scents. So I found Green Apple, Soft Rose, and Peppermint. And right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you that the Green Apple smells the best out of all three of these. Um, but Tom's at Dollar Tree is amazing. Um, I know they do like a lot of different like natural ingredients. I think they do like toothpaste, um, soaps, they make shoes with like natural, more natural products. So I'm really excited to see this at Dollar Tree for $1.25. And so this soap says it helps support good bacteria to keep skin in a healthy balance. So, and this is something that my doctor has been like harping on me about is that I need to not be so harsh with the soaps that I use on my skin. Actually using a ton of soap um, is not good for your skin because you are washing away the good bacteria. But in a time where we live with um, COVID, unfortunately, we do have to wash our hands frequently. So I thought this would be perfect to use like just in my home um, on days where I'm not like going out or going shopping. If I am, I will use like an antibacterial soap, but just at home around the house with my family, I think this is great because it won't be as harsh on my skin because my, my hands have actually been, um, I have eczema. So my my hands from the hand washing have been really bothering me lately. So um, I'm, I'm hoping that this soap will help with that and kind of restore some of the good bacteria that is missing. But super exciting find from Dollar Tree. All right, so let's venture over into the food section for a minute. You guys, I found regular size boxes of Cheez-Its at Dollar Tree what this is this is insane so ever since dollar tree um has raised their prices i've seen more name brand things popping up um not only in food but again also in like soaps and body care like this is crazy so they also had the full size bag of the cheese it's but they're called snapped they're like little chips but you guys, this is amazing, and they don't expire until July of 2022. So they're not giving us expired food, they're giving us name brand snacks that are not expired for $1.25, that's amazing. This was also a shocking find. Taco Kits by Old El Paso. So in the kit you get 10 flour tortillas, the seasoning, and then the sauce. But these are the World Taco Kit. So I have Korean barbecue, Korean inspired barbecue, which looks really yummy. And then there's Caribbean inspired jerk tacos. There's also one more. It was, I think, teriyaki, but teriyaki and tacos didn't really sound appealing to me. So I went ahead and passed on that one. But this is amazing, you guys. $1.25 for a whole meal kit. You only need to add the meat to this and you can serve your entire family with $1.25 plus the meat. But one pound of uncooked chicken um, breast for this one for the Caribbean jerk. And then for this one, you need a pound of ground beef or if you wanna make it a little bit healthier, you can use ground turkey. That's what I usually do with tacos, but so amazing amazing find at Dollar Tree all right I needed to pick up more um, black binders for my sticker 
collection. I recently did like a sticker organization video and then um, I also did like a sticker collection video as well. I'll link both of those videos down below if you miss them. But I have all of my stickers organized in black binders that I actually picked up from Walmart. And I'm kind of upset that I did because these just came out at Dollar Tree for $1.25 and I paid a little bit more at Walmart. Not much more, but a little bit more. There is also different colors, like most of the primary colors were available, but I like this style of binder that has like the clear cover on the front and back. These aren't the best quality. They are kind of like warped with, at least with the, um, the protective cover, but they're still just a regular binder. See, you can see like right here. It's just not pulled as, I guess, tight in some areas, the cover. But yeah, I picked these up to further organize my stickers. I like to organize them by category. So I needed to pick up a few of those. And in the beauty aisle, I found some new makeup wipes or cleansing wipes by Pick Up and Go. So here's the two that I found. So I was actually in the market for some new um, makeup wipes because I'm out. So these looked interesting. This one, the orange one is refreshing, nutrients rich, rich in zesty oranges and hy hyaluronic acid. What that smells like. Ooh. That actually smells like a creamsicle. That's what that smells like. And these are not tested on animals and made in Korea, which Korean skincare, in my opinion, is the best. Um, and then we have Mango Nourishing, and this one is rich in nutrients of sweet mangoes and vitamin B. So that's the sweet mango, and I love the packaging, and I like how you can just pull out. Well, I mean, most of them are like this, but mm, that one smells really good as well. I think this one is definitely my favorite, though. It just reminds me of, like, an orange creamsicle, but pick those up in the beauty section, and I needed to get some new nail polish because I recently went through all of my nail polish, and I used my old... Um, nail polish inside those clear ornaments for Christmas to make like um, different, I guess, marble effect ornaments. So I used most of my nail polish for that. So I needed to get some new nail polish. These are by the brand iGlow and they are a one step gel nail polish and you don't need the UV light, it claims. It says no UV needed. None of these nail polishes have a name. <laughs> Otherwise, um, it'd be a lot easier to tell you which, which ones that I got, but I'm just going to have to hold them up. I found this really beautiful, almost like periwinkle color. And then I found this hot pink, which I thought would be really cute for the summertime. And then I found like a, I call this like bubblegum pink or Barbie pink. I'm making my own names for these nail polishes, but I found that color and the light is kind of, the closer I get to the camera, like the brighter the light is for some reason. So I got those colors and then I found this one has almost like a glitter effect to it, but it's more of a like red, red. And then this one is purple. So I got five nail polishes again. Here are all of the colors that I got. And I actually wanted to ask you guys if you know the name of the product that you, I was in Target the other day and I was looking for it. It's a, it's almost like I think a glue or a barrier that you put around your cuticle when you're painting your nails so that if you like accidentally um, paint around or off your nail, you can just peel that piece off after you're done and you get like a straight or clean painted nail. If you guys know what I'm talking about, let me know down in the comment section um, because I've been looking for that product for a while. I just don't know what it's called. And um, I know you can also use like glue. I've heard of that hack, but I don't really want to use glue. So if you know, 
Let me know in the comments down below. Sharing is caring, so thank you. The past couple of hauls, I've shared a lot of Valentine's Day decor things, and they just keep coming out with more things every time I go. And then this week, you guys, I found the handmade cards, which is something I'm always excited for with Valentine's Day, because in my opinion, the Valentine's Day, like the handmade cards that they usually put out for different holidays and seasons, the Valentine's Day ones are the best. They're just the cutest. I like to use them in my journals and my planners. So I'm going to quickly go through them. I didn't pick up all of them. I just picked up my favorites, which was almost all of them. <laughs> but I found this one. We make a great pair with the little socks. This one was super cute. And most, most of these, if not all of them, have some pop-up detail to them, like these envelopes, envelopes, envelopes. Um, and then I found this one, so cute. And then this one. This one is adorable, probably one of my favorites. This one and another one, well, this one as well. I think they're just all my, I can't choose. This one because it has leopard print on it and I'm obsessed with animal print, but so cute. But this one, I think out of all of them is my favorite because these have Valentine coupons on the front cover, which is like a, a really cute thing to give. Um, your significant other is like a little coupon book um, for Valentine's Day, but I really love this one. It has like a movie night ticket or coupon. It has a, a day off from to-do lists, what, a romantic dinner, 14 hugs and kisses. That's really cute. And then nice compliments. I mean, if you're not getting nice compliments from your um, significant other, I don't agree with that one. Again, you should get that all the time but um, total control of the TV remote, which is pretty funny. So I just thought this one was so cute. And then this, love you very much with the gummy bears. I would do a whole planner spread around this card. So what I would do is I would just cut this part off and then punch it to fit the little discs in my happy planner. And then I'd use like gummy bear stickers and coordinate like a whole theme around gummy bears. That's usually what I like to do with my like planner spreads. And I recently just started posting my um, planner videos again. I just got back into it. I started doing that when I first um, launched my channel a few years ago and then I stopped doing it. So I just started back up. I did post a couple of planner videos already I'll link them if you're interested, you can check them out. And then I found this card with the typewriter. So cute. Love the little Valentine's Day cards. At checkout, I got some of these LED string lights. And these are just cute to maybe put in like a tiered tray or maybe around a picture frame, like a standalone picture frame would be really cute. I always pick up these like little novelty battery pack lights. And then I found these two pieces of decor. How cute are these? I like the Be Mine more than this one, but I had to pick this one up as well. You could also change the saying right here if you don't like it and just paint over it and write something. I think your own handwriting would actually look a lot cuter for this because it's like personalized by you and unique so picked those up and then the last for the valentine's day decor i found these cute little wood envelopes with the pop-up or second layer with the heart so i would probably use paint i mean i of course use paint on them but i would paint over these and then maybe use like a paint pen to go around and put the lines on so that's what I was thinking of doing with those items. I also found a new wall decal, or new to me. It's a world map. I love it. Two pieces here by Main Street Wall Creations. I, I think I've mentioned it before, but I wouldn't 
recommend using these on a wall. If you have any texture on your wall, they're going to peel off like the next day. So um, I like to use these in my journal spreads or my planner spreads. This is very large. So what I would do is I would just like cut this down and either use it on multiple pages um, or just part of it. But super cute, found that. It kind of has like that old vintage style to it with the colors. And I could further like distress it to make it look even older. And I love maps. I love maps in my journal. So went ahead and picked up that. And the last section of this haul is all going to be new wall decor that I found at Dollar Tree. And you guys, I couldn't walk away from some of these, a lot of these, because look at the stack of new pictures that I got. So I'm going to try to go through these semi quickly. But I, what I like about some of these is that Dollar Tree is starting to do different orientations like this. They're doing it in landscape and they're coming out with different sizes. So had to get the succulents because I love succulents. You are the apple of my eye. You could do a whole, I'm sorry, you are the apple to my pie, which you don't really hear a lot. So this would be really cute for the fall in your kitchen. And you could of course take these out of the frame use the image and put them in a nicer frame and then repurpose the frame for a DIY. That is an option. This one's very simple, just has some peaches on it. If you have like a peach theme in your kitchen that you like to do during the summer or like me, you like the lemons. I'm actually thinking about doing peaches this year. Um, I don't really like peaches though. Like I don't like to eat them, but I think they're cute. I think all fruit is cute if fruit can be cute but these ones were probably my favorites because they have this watercolor look to them and they came in different sizes so these ones I think are a, a set that go together because the other ones I'm about to show you are a little different these ones are more like watercolor and then these ones are more paint painting painting style i don't know if you can tell the difference but you guys how gorgeous are these if you have a gallery wall this is the kind of like style or size that would look really good to like mix and match and play around with like different um patterns or different layouts that's what these remind me of so i'm definitely going to hold on to these um until i figure out the style of my gallery wall because i definitely love the vintage quality or vintage look to these that's what they remind me of just something very like country what am i trying to say like country like vintage country i don't know this one <laughs> I had to get it because it has animal print. It's a leopard. Had to get it. So gorgeous. I would definitely put this one in a different frame. I just feel like the frame doesn't really, I don't know, complement this picture very much because he's so gorgeous or she. But I might use this as like a journal cover as well. I have a different leopard journal cover right actually right here that I just used but I'm obsessed with animal print especially leopard but picked that up and then these two were really cute be kind so this would go really well with those candles from earlier the little honeycomb candles like how cute is that I don't know if you can see it but there's like flowers on it like sunflowers so cute. This would look excellent with a bee theme. And then this one was beautiful as well. Very simple. It looks kind of like a watercolor bird on some branches. This would look really beautiful with the Dollar Tree plates that have like that, not the paisley print, but who knows what I'm talking about. It's like the blue flower print that they have on the plates. I've been looking for those forever and I can't find them. I know they have come out with them for the past couple of years and they do change up the style a little bit, but I've never been able to find those beautiful vintage 
blue looking um, plates. I think I, I may have found the bowls, but I don't think I found the plates, but that's what this reminded me of was maybe going with that set. All right, guys, so that's it for this Dollar Tree haul. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you spotted some new finds that you haven't seen yet and that you maybe want to add to your Dollar Tree wish list. And I really hope that you can find the things on your wish list at your local Dollar Trees. And until my next video, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you currently aren't subscribed. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Take care.